everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim here, and I believe God is releasing reversals and returns. That's right, reversals and returns. The Bible says that He is the reverser of the curse. There is such a thing as curses and blessings. We see that in Deuteronomy chapter 28. There's a list of curses, and there's also a list of blessings. I don't know about you, but I want to live on a side of blessings, not curses. We know that we are living in a fallen earth. However, it's our job to bring heaven on earth. The Bible here says in Galatians 3.13, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everybody who is hung on a tree. The Bible says Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Because he became a curse. That's called a divine reversal. You know, when somebody's trying to shoot you, as they point their guns towards you, the guns reverse and point to themselves. That's called a reversal. That's called a boomerang in the spirit. God is boomeranging every attack. And God is boomeranging everything that is wickedly done in the name of heathens. Things are being boomeranged back on their own head. Of course, we are getting ready to celebrate Purim. And Purim stands for the reverse of the curse. It stands for reversing the decree. Haman tried to incite the king and said, These Jewish people, they're evil. We need to destroy them. So what did the king do? He spoke the word, the decree, and the people wrote it into legislation, and they passed it out all throughout the kingdom. As it was passed out, that was a decree or the law of the land. Of course, Esther and Mordecai heard about it. They fasted, sought the Lord, and they got the divine blueprints and strategies to reverse it. Eventually, they won the case in the courts of heaven and in the court of the king, gained favor by the king, and now the allotment was reversed. The curse was reversed. The very person who sowed strife bore the fruit of it. The very person who sowed antagonization bore the fruit of it. That's called a return. That's called a boomerang. Are you ready to return back to sender? When somebody is trying to send you some hate mail, you send it back to the sender. Somebody's trying to send you some uh, evil messages, and the mailman is trying to open up your door and leave it in the box, knock, knock, who's there? You send it back to sender. You don't accept it, you don't tolerate it, and you revoke it, and you return it back to the pit of hell, where it came from. In the season of Purim, there's going to be reverses. I said reverses. What was meant for you is going to go back to your enemies. What the enemy intended to kill and to harm you, God will use it for his good. The devil tried to kill you, but it's becoming a setup and a platform for your future and your destiny. I believe in the season, in this time of Purim, which means allotment. There's going to be reverses and there's going to be returns. That's right returns. Every single thing that belongs to you will be returned to you. Your health, your family, the prodigals, the prodigals are returning. Every single thing that belongs to you will be returned to you with no delay. God is the one who reversed the curse by the power of the cross. And now as you and I carry our cross, everything will be reversed. In our favor, in your favor, the tables are turning. In your favor, the tide is turning. Things are shifting and turning around and moving for you, for your favor. Be expectant for divine reversals and for the returns of God's hand. Get ready for the blessings. Yes, the mega blessings. Get ready. For the return of the Lord. People of God, I prophesy this over you. In this month of February and beyond, you will experience the reverses of the curses. This is Pastor Ben Lim here. 
I pray that this prophetic word blessed you. Expect reversals and returns.